there by Hero. Wow, that could change the outcome of this game. That could change the outcome of this game. Uh, it looked like Hero had a chance earlier to kind of pad his lead. He missed that opportunity. Now Delph and one only down by one goal. We're in the 81st minute of the second half. Time is ticking, and, uh, you know, we can, we can sense the Spanish player's uh, the urgency to get a goal right now, and he's going to have to step it up. Hero now going to be in a win-protect type, uh, you know, give and go, a lot of passing, trying to, to keep the ball away from Delphan 1, which is a smart thing, and uh, Delphan 1 not wanting to give up this uh, corner kick, or which he's doing, and he's did it again. This is eating up precious time, and uh, Hero realizes that, and he's going to do the same thing over and over and over again, because Delphan 1's defenders just keep coming out and setting up the, those corners, allowing him to do those corners. Now, Delphan 1 has an opportunity. He's up in the right hash mark. He's got a cross, switches fields. He's looking for his man, Robin Nino. Robin Nino now looking for something to happen, trying to get his players set up, but a great challenge right there by the, the uh, uh, German defender uh, to break that opportunity up, and it will set up the throw-in. France now with possession. Plays the ball wide to the wing and back to the midfield. The one-two pass. The whole open other side of the field is open, but he instead chooses the long ball back to the right-hand side of the field. Dribbles to the line. There's a cross. He heads it home. The diving headbutt. And Germany will knock another goal in to capitalize. Wow. Champion yeah. Hero. Nice job by Hero to uh, to answer that goal by Delphin 1. He's keeping his two-goal lead, and he, he wants to maintain that two-goal lead because he knows the gold is on the line, the championship is on the line, and we're at the 90th minute right now. We're quickly approaching it, which means we're going into injury time. There is a sense of urgency from the uh, Spanish player now. He has to make something happen. Otherwise, Hero's going to walk away with this one, and we're going to watch Hero dance and play with the ball. And, uh, you know, it's going to set a throw in right now for uh, for Delph M1, but it might be too little, too late. He's got a man in the middle of the field. He's got to make something happen. He just has to. And passes like that isn't going to work. And I believe we're going to see Hero crown champion again. And maybe, to add insult of injury, he might put another goal in the back of the net. Certainly looking very grim for Delph right now. He needs to get two back-to-back -back goals, and he can't do it. Joe Ray will repeat as the champion of World Cyber Games for FIFA 2007. Hero with the win, the defending champion. Gonna have to defend again next year. Doing a great job beating the Spaniard, Delphin 1, avenging his brother and defending his title as the FIFA Grand Final Champion here at the World Cyber Games in Seattle. Look at the excitement and the smiles on those players. The team captain coming out, draping the German flag around Hero. Hero smiling big, hanging it high. He's proud and you have a reason to be proud, buddy, because you are the best player in FIFA in the world. Here you have the medal standings, ladies and gentlemen. Well, for a second there you saw it. Coming up next on the grand final stage, we're gonna see PJ versus Stork in the StarCraft Finals. China versus Korea. It's going to be exciting, everybody.